didn't see the queen of the so real crew, y'all, what it do? Your girl is back with another freaking video. Now, before we get into this video, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with anyone and everyone to let them know what your favorite crew is doing. And then y'all make sure y'all turn that post notification bell right there beside the subscribe button so you'll be notified when your favorite crew post another video. And if you are a new subscriber, welcome. And if you've always been here, welcome back. Welcome back. Hey, 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 ooh, them OG, ooh, ooh. Today, y'all, I will be doing another Wibbida, ooh, Wibbida, ooh. And today, I will be showing y'all how to make, I said how to make chocolate covered Oreos Christmas style. You feel me? So, you will need Oreos. So, your ingredients will be Oreos. I have some chocolate candy milk, Walmart. I have some white candy milk, white chocolate candy milk. And I have some bread. Um, I have some bowls to melt the chocolate in. Um, so y'all won't have to buy no, um, what do you call them, icing bags or whatever. Boom, baby. All you got to use some Ziploc bags. I'm going to show you what to do and how to do it. So we ain't going to prolong it. Let's get into this video. All right, what it is, what it is, what it is, y'all. Okay, so what you did, well, I got a couple of Oreos out already to kind of like speed the video. And then what you'll do is you'll get your Oreo. See? I already stuck, like, stuck a toothpick in some of them. So all you got to do is just get you a toothpick so that way you won't have to be trying to hold them and get chocolate and stuff all over your hand. All you got to do is just get... Boom, there you go. Stick it on there. So, yeah, you know Now, what I'm going to do is... That's enough for now. Well, let me let me go ahead and stick it in because I got like a total of six cookies already out. So what I got also uh, what you want to do first? Go get some of that chocolate, that white chocolate. Get you a, uh, uh, some scissors to cut your little corner off of it, and then you're gonna get you some and you pour you a few on the bowl. You're gonna pour you a little few on the bowl. See, I got a little bit in the bowl, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get you a little bit of this oil. Cause sometimes there could be a little, you know, little or whatever. So you need a, a, just a little, see it? Just a little tad of oil, just a little bit. Just a little bit, get you a spoon. So what you're gonna do is you'll put this in the microwave for about 30 seconds first. So you, you will do it like in a few seconds increment so you won't burn the chocolate. So we're gonna put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. So now I'm putting it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Then once it's 30 seconds, I'm gonna show you what it looks like, and you'll just stir it up. And if it's not fully melted, you'll just add it in there for another 30 seconds. But you know, you'll just keep doing it, stirring it, just so that you will not burn the chocolate, the chocolate, okay? So it's like eight seconds left on the clock. Five, four, oh, three, eight, two, eight, one, eight, three. There we go. So you see. You see how it's still not melted? You'll stir it a little bit because see, 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 it did melt a little bit at the bottom. See how it's looking? And then you'll stir it up and see how much you can just get to melt. Because sometimes that 30 seconds will do. And sometimes that 30 seconds will not do. So what you'll do now, what I'm going to do is instead of putting it in there for a full 30 seconds, you see what it's looking like? Instead of me putting it in there for a full 30 seconds, I'm going to do 15 seconds this time. Because like I said, I don't want the chocolate to burn. Even though I pressed the 30 seconds. I'm only gonna let it stand there for 15 because you do not want the chocolate to burn. So, five more seconds. Three more seconds. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna take it out and stir it. Boom, bam, boom, bam, boom to the bizam. Boom to the bizam. And now you see that chocolate? This is what you want it to be. This is the consistency you will want it to be. See that? Boom. See that how you did that? How that little 30 second work, that little 45 second work, and all that. But like I said, you want to do it because it depends on the watts and whatever of your microwave. So it can be too hot or too down. So you know what I'm saying? That's why I said do it in a few second increments so that you will not burn your freaking chocolate because you're going to be upset. So, y'all, I got this paper plate that I want you to put these few on. But let me get a little piece of parchment paper one moment. All right, y'all, I got the parchment paper on back. So I'm going to lay it on here so that, you know, the chocolate won't be sticking to the plate. So let's move all this, this stuff back here. Then what you're going to do is, like I said, stir it. Stir it up, stir it up. Like that right there. 
And then we're gonna just move this to the side. And then you're gonna get your wine. Tip the bowl a little bit to the side. So you can dip, baby. I mean, uh, dip, baby. And like I said, the only reason why I did this because I'm not gonna do too many. Uh, dang, the chocolate. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna do too many. I'm probably gonna get a spoon and dip it out because this toothpick kind of like just came out. So what I'm gonna do, but I just really wanna get all that chocolate on my hands. So I'm gonna just use a spoon to get it out. And then make sure you, there you go. Shake all the excess chocolate off of there. Boom. And then you just lay it on wherever you want it to, um, to dry. Like I said, I'm gonna just take the two picks out. I was just trying to so I won't have that much problem with, um, but it's okay, so we're gonna just drop it in there like that, drop it in there again. Ooh, drop it in there again. Flip it around, flip it around, make sure that it gets fully covered. Both sides, all sides fully covered. Then you use the spoon, scoop it out, see what it's looking like, see what it's looking like. And like I said, you're gonna make sure you let all most of the chocolate drill out. And then you're gonna lay it where you're gonna lay it. You feed me, lay it where you're gonna lay it, boom, 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 boom. So like I said, I'm going to show you this last one right here so you'll know what to do. And then I'm going to show you what they look like once they are, um, the chocolate, them, you know, don't harden on it a little bit. But here you go again. This is the third one. And like I said, I'm going to show you. And you'll put it there. And what you'll do is, like I said, I didn't milk that much chocolate because I wasn't planning on doing that much. I just want to do y'all a little video and show y'all. So if y'all want to do stuff for baby showers, weddings, or anything like that, ah, Christmas party, there you go. See what I'm saying? So you see what it looks like? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the rest of them. And then I'm going to let them sit here and harden a little bit. And then we're going to show, I'm going to show you what to do with the decorations with the green and the red. Okay? Y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all. On back, on back, on back. And see, this is what it looks like, y'all, once it has, uh, once the chocolate has melted. Um, if you want to, you can, when you do it like this and you want it to be doubled, you can re-dip it in the chocolate again. But I'm just going to do it just once. But like I said, if you want it to be you know, real thick like the ones you can buy the stove. All you got to do is just dip it in, you know, melt some more chocolate and dip it again. The second time. So what we're going to do now is take them off that pan and we're going to put them on this plate and put them on this plate. That's why I said make sure you like trying to get all the, you know, all the, you know, the chocolate off the edges so that they, they even know it won't be having that, you know, where it won't be looking like it's been sitting in a corner. You know what I'm saying? It'll have that perfect round shape. So I'm just, what I'm doing now is just basically really trying to break some of the little, the little excess uh, chocolate off the the excess from around it, the way it you know kind of dripped and made it look funny. That's why I say make sure. Uh -oh. That's why I say make sure that you do it so it can have that little perfect circle. You know. Okay, we'll move this over here. So now what you're going to do is you're going to get some of your red chocolate. So you're going to cut, use a, 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 a scissor. Like I said, use a scissor and just cut a little cone off. And then what I got is this little bowl here. And I'm just gonna pour a little bit because I'm just really, I'm just really gonna pour just a little bit because I just need enough to just kind of decorate these little few here. Then, like I told you again, just add a little, just a little. The smaller amount that you add, the smaller the um, yeah. And again, I'm gonna put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. See, this is what it looks like when I just add a little. So 30 seconds first. 30 seconds first, y'all. Ooh, that look good. That look good. Y'all, the heat on, so it's kind of a little hot up in here. So, yeah. So, okay. Hold on. But like I said, right here, this 30 seconds may do it for this just because it's a little small amount. And like I said, you can get the chocolate. I Oh, and the, the way you find it, to find these kind of chocolates in the bag and not those big old barks, you have to look over there like in the wedding section. Hold on. Yeah, you have to look over there in the wedding section. You have to look over there in the wedding section, um, like um, the wedding section in Walmart. That's where this kind of melted chocolate would be. It wouldn't be over there, like in the um, in the cooking aisle or in the in the kitchens, you know, over there with the food in. This would be would be over there in the um, this would be over there in the uh, over there with the wedding stuff. So now this is where see it. So you see how it is? See, it only took that little thirty seconds. See. It only took that little 30 seconds, it was just a little bit. See? So now this is where the Ziploc bag comes into play. You'll get your Ziploc bag. You'll kind of like, you know, you'll kind of like pull it to yourself to where you'll get this little corner right here. And then, you know, open it up like this. And then you'll get this. 
scoop this over there like that, and you'll pour this in that little corner. See? You'll pour that in that little corner. I said there's a little bit more in there, but you ain't already. Oh, don't do, do that. Hold on. Okay, and then you see now how it's all in that little corner. See how you see how they got that little decorated bag? And what you'll do is you'll just pinch it. Pinch it so you'll move. You see how I pinched it so it moved that chocolate from down there? And then that's where you'll get your scissors. And make sure you'll just cut a little tiny hole, just a little tiny little mark, like poof, poof. You see how I cut that little piece off? Just that little piece, and then I'm gonna show you. See, and I'm going to show you. See it? And you see how thin it comes out? Boom, bam, boom, bam, boom. So now what I'm going to do is, here it is. And then this is how you do your little, boom. Tell me that don't look nice and lovely. Tell me, tell me. Now, I, um, now I'll be right back. Now I'm finna go ahead and do the same thing for the green milk. And I'll show you and I'll be back once I have that added to my finished product. So I'll be right back. Y'all on back, on back, on back. And y'all see I got the green together. I got the green together. So y'all see the red. And now, boom, bam. Ooh, ooh, tell me this ain't finna look good. Ooh, now look at it with that green added to it. Look at that with that green added to it. Now, baby, this is something that you can put on the table festivity for your old little Christmas party. And, baby, look, it ain't had to do much. And you ain't had to do much, y'all. Like I said, y'all can decorate them any way, however y'all want to. And like I said, if y'all want the chocolate to be a little thicker, all you got to do is once it gets that cold and on the first time and it cools off and it hard, all you got to do is just re-dip it in that chocolate again, baby, and you'll be good and ready to go, y'all. But, y'all... And like I said, y'all can get those chocolates from Walmart, the uh, the chocolate from Walmart, the oil, all these ingredients that I showed y'all for this video. You can all get it at Walmart. I will leave the ingredients in the description box below in case you want to do it for Christmas, baby showers, or whatever. If y'all want to hook somebody up, do it, do it, do it. But y'all, here it is. Eh, uh, here it is. Eh, uh, here it is. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Now, y'all, that's gonna that's gonna conclude this video. Now I'm gonna let my children taste test these items. And like I said, well, we'll taste these right here. Cause like I said, y'all, this is actually my first time making the chocolate Oreos. I mean, like I said, I've done it though. I did the deep fried Oreos. Um, y'all stay tuned because I will be doing a video showing y'all how to do the same thing. Hey, hey, hey. strawberries, butter strawberries. Eh, eh, eh. But y'all, y'all look, <laughs> y'all remember, give this video a fat thumbs up. If y'all like this video, comment down below what y'all want to see next. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with anyone and everyone. And y'all, for my new subscribers, welcome. And for my original OGs that be here from day one, welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. Eh, eh, welcome back. Eh. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with anyone and everyone to let them know what your favorite crew is doing. And then y'all make sure y'all turn that post notification bell right there beside the subscribe button so you'll be notified when your favorite crew posts another video. And remember, I said remember to put God first and everything else going to fall in line. It is what it is and what it ain't is going to be. So real crew on my peace.